Hey learners, I want to ask you a questions at the beginning of this video. First of all, I would like to give you two sentence as an example. Please do comment in the comment box that which sentence is correct. Number one, he was wearing white amazing pant. He was wearing amazing white pant. Tell me which sentence is correct which sentence uh, sounds as a native speaker well the second answer he was wearing amazing white pant is correct questions may arise in your mind that how it is correct it seems that both answer are correct but in the second sentence observe that the sentence is used in adjective sequence yes today we are going to learn about how to use adjective in a sentence to sounds more natural and speak like native speaker Namaskar, I am Rita. Welcome back in this linguistic journey. If you are new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe button. Today, in this video, I am going to talk about adjective sequence. How to use adjectives in a sentence to sound more attractive and speak like a native speaker. We all know that adjective is a word that used to describe noun. Indian man indian man here man is what man is noun and indian is an adjective so adjective describe what noun means indian describe men sometimes we use several adjectives to describe a noun such as curly hair white enormous tiny when we use more than one adjective before noun to describe then we should uh, put the adjective in a sequence wise but when we use more than one adjective to describe a noun then we must need to arrange adjectives in a particular order number one opinion opinion means belief or a statement of advice or judgment like amazing lovely number two that is size like big small number three physical quantity thin rough number four shape square rectangle number five age young old number six color red white number seven orange means in which state or in which area you are belongs means indian japanese korean number eight material like wood iron plastic number nine type four square u-shaped number ten purpose cleaning washing I will give you some examples so that you can understand how more than one adjectives are used in a sentence while speaking and writing. Because if you know this, then definitely you can easily able to enhance your writing as well as your speaking skill. So without any further ado, let's dive into the example. Number one, it's a narrow long iron rod. Do you think that the sequence of adjective is correct here? No. The correct answer is, is it is long narrow iron rod. It's a long narrow iron rod. In this sentence, long comes in second place, narrow comes in fourth place and iron comes in eighth place. If you use adjective in this sequence, then you can understand that how adjective used in a sentence. Uh, let's move to the second sentence. He was handsome, tall, thin, black haired, young Indian man. So the correct answer is he was handsome, tall, thin, young, black haired Indian man. Handsome comes in first sequence of the adjective that is opinion tall comes in second sequence that is size 
and thin comes in third sequence that is physical quantity young comes in fifth sequence that is age comes black hair comes in sixth sequence that is color and indian comes in seventh sequence that is origin so in this way you have to arrange more than one adjective in a sentence let's move to another sentence that is so the third one is indian based wool shawls are sold here the correct answer is the best indian wool shawl are sold here in this sentence indians comes in seventh sequence that is origin and wool comes in eighth sequence of adjective that is material most of native speakers simply do it naturally automatically the sentence come out from their mouths in this adjective sequence but if you practice then definitely it will comes in your natural way you sounds more like native speaker so please do practice and comment me in comment box that how do you like this video if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe button thank you vande matram